What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Renet, and today I bring you guys a little bit of commentary. Today I'm bringing you guys how to level up quick, both battle pass and this level in general, and how to just become like a more uh, effective player and getting a lot of XP. So first of all, there's two different ways to level up in this game. It's the, I would say the rush active way, and there's this normal way. So let's go with the normal way first. The normal way is just to go for as many wins as possible. You don't care how many kills you get, you play solo, you get two kills and you win, you're happy with that. That's fine enough, that's what like 1 or 2k XP right there, which is decent XP, right? Uh, and you also need to make sure to do all of your daily challenges and now weekly challenges because that's new in the game Your weekly battle pass challenges is important to do. This is if you do got the battle pass. If you don't got the battle pass um, I would say the best way is just to do weekly challenges or I mean daily challenges and then try and go for as many wins as possible uh, There's not really a lot of stuff you can do when you don't have the battle pass You can still play the game and everything It's just that you don't have the challenges and the skins to go for and so on So that's just the basic way to actually just get XP Just play games, try to get wins, try to get good positions in games like top 3, top 5 at least uh, I would say solo is the best way to get XP because it's both the easiest game I'd play in my opinion uh, as well as you get a little bit more XP than you would when you play squad like say you win a game and you have two kills in squad you get like eight, 800 XP and then you play solo you get like 1000 XP so that's 200 XP extra and in the long run that will save you a lot of time and then there's the affected way which you do when you like play the game for a long time when you play it for when you say like have 100 wins for example that is go for as many kills as possible trying to get the win so you get like 10 wins 10 kills and one win that would say you have like 1600 XP right there which is absolutely amazing that would say you need 10 wins to level from 80 to 81 for example uh, which is insanely fast, right? And then you have daily challenges, you do the daily challenges as well, and then you have the weekly challenges. The weekly challenges are always important to do, both for your battle pass and for your level. Uh, so we say that's a really good way to level up, try to revive your teammates, try to open as many chests as possible, because I think that does give you XP as well. Try to get the best position you can possibly get in a game like top 5, top 3, top uh, or number 1. Uh, try also go for a lot of kills, assist also gave you XP, so if you always see a guy and you're playing squad for example, always try to shoot the guy that your entire team sees, don't be like that guy who's like, yeah, one of the teams already seen him, I don't need to shoot him, because you do get that assist, and that assist will give you XP, as well as with revives and everything, will also give you XP, so just try and maximize your, all of your stuff. Um, right now I'm level 80, so I think like, I'm not entitled, or not, I'm not like an expert on this, uh, this is how I leveled up and I really didn't play that much. I would say I played like five hours a day and then some days I just play one hour. Um, so for me that's insanely fast if you see how long I played like I don't play 10 hours a day like for example we have a lot of streamers that play 10 hours a day they would absolutely be in the level 90, 85 or something right now but for just me who just plays the game on a passive basis and I actually do try and be as effective as fast possible as like with wins and score and kills and everything um, this is totally the best way to just go about so let's just go over what it is if you just want XP and you don't care about how how much you level up just try or how fast you level up just try and get a win you don't need to go for like insane high kills games right then you just trying of wins you just camp and so on that is if you're like due to the game uh, but if you want to maximize the XP per hour and per day and per win and everything, try to go for at least 8 kills plus. That will give you 1500 XP, that's basically what I get when I play solo sometimes. I get sometimes 1500, sometimes 1800. Uh, another thing if you play squad, don't try, like it doesn't matter if somebody steals two kills or if you then just don't get the kill. Uh, generally because assists and so on and damage wise will give you XP as well So that's really really important to keep in mind just try and do as much damage revive and everything will loot and just chop down Whatever you can when you need stuff uh, This will just give you more XP in the long run and it will really save you like say you will use a hundred hours from level 1 to 100 uh, Doing this maximizing all this stuff will potentially be like 80 hours you will be saving uh, 20 hours just for doing this for example this is just roughly but that would be something that in the long run would save a lot of time so a good player would just be as effective as possible both by getting kills assist damage on enemy players and reviving people uh, as well as going for the win right if you really really want to maximize xp as i said you need to go for wins and get a lot of kills and assists and everything that's just the best way so i hope you guys enjoyed this is just some small tips just some small how xp works and so on i will be making a full out guide on how to get a lot of 
XP as well as how the daily challenge and so on works. So remember to do all your daily challenges and weekly challenges as well. That was really, really important. 500 XP there, 1K XP there, 2K XP there, 5K XP there. There will be a lot of XP in the long run. Like say one weekly challenge, if you do all the weekly challenges that would like get you like two levels when you're in high level. Uh, which is absolutely banging and amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. If you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe as it really, really helps me out. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, take care.